Okay. I melted another 50 pennies or so and just poured it on top of the last ones. Oh, that came out of there real nice and easy. Look at that. So we have our bar or rod of zinc. I tied the zinc rod so that the squared end falls below the 80 milliliter mark, which we know will be the lead acetate solution. Here's our 10 grams of lead acetate, which we made earlier. I pre-hung the zinc bar in there and I am now going to pour the lead acetate solution in. You can already see it affecting the uh, zinc rod and changing its color. There we go. You can already see the lead crystals growing. It's only been about a minute. Although there's lead crystals there, the growth has slowed down a lot and I'm thinking I'm gonna dunk the entire zinc rod into the solution. Okay, I put the whole thing in there now. This is around 20 hours later and we can clearly see the lead crystals drooping down just like they're supposed to. 24 hours later from the previous video, 44 hours total, and the lead crystals are growing really well. It's been 66 hours and there is a jungle of lead crystals in there. Some of those have drooped down and touched the bottom of the beaker. This is a view from the top, which looks like muddy water, but not down here. <laughs> 